from managing your budget wisely to leveraging the power of free tools, these strategies have helped countless individuals increase their online earnings. But there are secret tips and hidden gems that could potentially skyrocket your income to unimaginable heights. Stay tuned to discover this game-changing strategy. Welcome back to the Quick Cash Chronicles, where we dive deep into the world of making money, saving money, and everything in between. You're in the right place if you're looking for smart financial tips, creative side hustles, investment insights, and ways to turbocharge your financial journey. Join us on this exciting adventure as we explore the strategies, stories, and secrets behind achieving financial freedom and living life on your terms. Let's make every penny count together. Making money online can be a great way to supplement your income or even replace your full-time job. There are many different ways to make money online, such as freelancing, starting a blog or website, or selling products or services. However, it's important to remember that making money online takes time and effort. It's also important to be mindful of your spending and save money whenever possible. Here are 5 tips to help you save money while making money online. Tip number 1. Setting a savings goal When it comes to saving money, the very first and most crucial step is to set a savings goal. Think of it as your financial destination, a specific target that you work towards, and it plays a key role in keeping you motivated on your savings journey. Now, when you're picking your savings goal, it's important to be both realistic and specific. You should take into account your current financial situation, your income, and your future financial plans. When I say that you should consider your financial situation and income, I say start by figuring out how much money you can genuinely afford to set aside each month. It's essential not to be overly ambitious with your goal, otherwise you might find it discouraging and give up. Think about your future financial plans. What are your savings for? Is it a down payment on a house or retirement or maybe a new car? Identifying your purpose helps you shape a plan to attain your goal. Set a specific deadline. Establish a clear timeline for reaching your savings goal. Having a deadline not only helps you stay on track, but it also keeps you motivated to achieve your target. While saving money may seem challenging, it's crucial to realize that even small amounts can accumulate over time. By setting a specific savings goal and putting a plan in place to achieve it, you can reach your financial aspirations and turn your dreams into reality. Tip number two, make the most of your local library. Let's talk about how your local library can be a fantastic resource for both saving money and enriching your life. It's a treasure trove of free stuff and services that can keep you entertained and educated. Here's what your library has to offer. Number one, books, audiobooks, and ebooks. I'm pretty sure your library houses an extensive collection of books, audiobooks, and ebooks covering a wide range of topics. The best part? You can borrow these materials for free, and many libraries even let you download ebooks and audiobooks to your devices. Number two, streaming movies and music. Some libraries provide streaming services for movies and music. So, you can enjoy a diverse selection of content without the need for multiple subscription services. Number three, online courses. If you're into learning and self-improvement, many libraries offer access to online courses on various subjects. From business and technology to language learning, these courses are an excellent way to acquire new skills or advance your career. Number four, equipment borrowing. Believe it or not, some libraries offer equipment lending services, including laptops, tablets, and projectors. It's like a lending store for gadgets, perfect for work, school, or personal use. To start taking advantage of all of these resources and services at your local library, all you need to do is get a library card. It's typically a quick and free process. Once you have your library card, you're all set to start borrowing materials and making the most of your library's offerings. It's a win-win for your wallet and your personal growth. Tip number three, create a budget. Now, let's talk about an essential step in managing your finances while making money online. Creating a budget. This may sound a bit formal, but it's a crucial tool for saving money and ensuring your financial success. Think of it as your roadmap for managing your income and expenses effectively. Here is the deal. When you have a budget, you get a clear picture of where your money comes from and where it's going. Once you're aware of these details, you can make necessary adjustments to your spending habits to save more money. There are several budgeting methods out there, 
and you can choose the one that suits you best. Let me introduce you to a few popular options. We have the 50-30-20 rule. This method divides your income into three categories. You allocate 50% for essential needs like bills and groceries, 30% for discretionary spending such as dining out and entertainment, and 20% for savings and paying off debt. We also have zero-based budgeting. Here, you assign every dollar of your income to specific categories like housing, food, transportation, and savings. This method ensures you use every dollar with a purpose. And lastly, the envelope system. This approach involves taking out cash for each budget category and putting it into labeled envelopes. Once you spend the cash in one envelope, that's it. You can't spend more in that category until your next budgeting period. No matter which method you choose, the key is to be consistent and keep a close eye on your spending. Regularly tracking your expenses helps you stay on budget and work toward your financial goals. So, start creating your budget today and take control of your financial journey. Tip number four, take advantage of online shopping deals. When it comes to online shopping, it's not just about clicking buy. It's about making smart choices. Here are some tips to help you save some cash. Number one, explore price comparison websites. Now, you've probably heard of price comparison websites. They're like your trusty shopping buddies. Websites like Google Shopping, Price Grabber, Price Blink, Shopzilla, and Nextag are there to help you compare prices from different retailers. Say goodbye to overpaying by finding the best deal in town. Just type in the product you're after, and these websites will show you a list of stores selling it. You can then compare prices and pick the one that fits your budget. Number 2. Get on the coupon code bandwagon. Coupon codes are your secret weapon for cutting costs. Websites like Retail Me Not, Groupon, and Coupons.com are treasure troves for these money-saving gems. In addition, if you're loyal to specific stores, sign up for their email lists to receive exclusive coupon codes. Remember to read the fine print with the coupon codes though. Some have certain conditions like minimum purchase amounts or expiration dates. By using price comparison websites and coupon codes, you've just pocketed a few dollars in savings. How's that for a win-win? And tip number 5. Look for bundled sets and discounts. These are basically packages of different items that come at discounted prices when you buy them together. Think of it like a beauty retailer offering you a deal where you get shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and lotion for less money than buying each separately. You can also find discounts on items that are either being discontinued or part of a sale. You can check out the retailer's website or apps because many times, the bundled sets and discounts are right there on the retailer's website or app. Additionally, you can sign up for their email list to stay in the loop about the latest deals. Do a quick price comparison. Now before you jump on that bundled set, do a quick check to see if it's really saving you money compared to buying each item individually. And lastly, read the fine print. Some bundled sets might have certain conditions like a minimum purchase amount or a limited time offer. Make sure to read the fine print to understand all the terms and conditions before you make the purchase. So, by following these tips, you'll be a savvy shopper, getting the most out of bundled sets and discounts and keeping some extra cash in your pocket. Saving money is important even if you're making money online. By following these 5 tips, you can make the most of your earnings and save money for the future. And again, thanks for tuning in to the Quick Cash Chronicles. We hope you found today's content valuable and inspiring. Don't forget, hit that notification bell and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, take care and stay financially savvy.